In this tip, I'm going to show you how to include multiple dimensions on the color shelf. The example we're going to build is something like this, a simple quadrant chart that shows us on the upper right customers that are in the top 100 of profit ratio and the top 100 of quantity. The upper left shows us the top 100 in quantity that are not in the top 100 of profit ratio. Let's see how we build that. I'm going to start by dragging profit ratio onto the columns and quantity onto the rows. And I want to display each customer as a dot. I'm going to change the mark type to circle just because I think it looks a bit better. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to filter this to California just to make it a bit simpler. I'm going to drag Cal state to the filters, choose California. I've gone ahead and created two sets, one for the top 200 of profit ratio and one for the top 100 of quantity. I'm going to drag the top 200 profit ratio to the color shelf. And notice how I do see 100 blue dots, but they're spread all over the place. That's because the Tableau's order of operations. Tableau will compute a set before it computes the filter. But I want the filter to apply before I compute the set. So I'm going to change my filter to add it to context. And now you can see on the right hand side, I have 200 customers that are circles. In order to have a second color on here for the top 100 quantity, I need to drag the top 100 quantity to the detail shelf. I then need to click on the mark indicator and choose color. And now we have a simple quadrant chart. If we were to drag top 100 quantity directly onto the color shelf, notice how we now only have one field on the color shelf and it's only using the top 100 quantity. So again, the trick is to put the second field onto detail and then add it to color. If we were to try this with measures, we wouldn't get the same result. So if I put sum onto color, I could see each circle has a color. If I were to try to put quantity onto the detail shelf and then add that to color, Quantity would, get quantity would replace sales on the color shelf. So the only way to have two separate fields on the color shelf is for those to be dimensions. Hope you found that useful. Have a good day.